Welcome to this video where I'll basically be showing you what I eat in a day during my two week January challenge. So at the moment for the new year, I'm doing the form January challenge, which is 14 days of workouts. Um, and as you can see here, I'm on day 13. So almost at the end. And as it's a Saturday, today is just going to be a simple stretch sesh. Okay, now we will go and make some breakfast. Today it is the banana nut protein oats. So to start with, I'll put a quarter cup of boiling water in the pan. Then I'll put in half a cup of rolled oats. Okay, I got a little bit cold, so jumper time. Now I'll add in two teaspoons of milk flax seeds, two teaspoons of chia seeds, and one heap teaspoon of runny honey. Okay, it wasn't in the recipe to add in raisins, but I love raisins, so I'm just gonna throw them in there. And then I'm using the Vega chocolate protein powder, but my favorite protein powder is from Clean Lean Protein and the chai, turmeric, and maca is just insane. Then I'll add in some almond milk. Usually I switch between almond milk and coconut milk, but coconut milk is actually my favorite and I just tend to buy the one with no sugars. Okay, now let's start to bowl up. First, I'll just pop in my base. Then it will be the bananas on top, trying to put them in a cute pattern, not going very well. Now I'll add almond butter, literally my favorite. As you can see, I've put seven tablespoons on there basically. Uh, Fat-free yogurt, cacao nibs, some hemp seeds, gluten-free chocolate granola, and some more runny honey. I mean, gorge. I always change up what I put on the top. It literally just depends on what I've got in the cupboards at the time. Your girl is spotty. My nails, I'm so enraged. How do we do this? What? They're quite long. I swear, the way that I've been growing my nails is avocados. I hate, hate avocados, but I love them if I can make them into like a guac, lots of lemon. You just mash it up, salt, pep, good to go. 
like so much salt and pepper and lemon. I drown it in the lemon. Um, so I'm on day 13 of the challenge, which is pretty crazy. They give you like a meal plan, they give you um, a workout plan, but it's just getting back into it after Christmas. I went home, back home to Suffolk, so obviously your mum is just fueling you with food. Mince pies, Christmas pudding. I had a whole Christmas pudding to myself on Christmas day. I'm not even joking, the family size, you know, the, the huge one. I literally had it all to myself with cream. That is what you're supposed to do at Christmas. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to indulge in these moments. Not good. I just thought I want to feel better. I get an idea of how to fuel my body in a better way. And so what I've realized it's whole foods are what you should be eating. This method is making me feel better and lose weight. But yeah, so now I just have five meals a day. I follow form. Sometimes I do a 15 minute workout. Sometimes I do half an hour. Really depends how I feel, but I always do it before work. Every day, five days a week. It really depends on what works for you. Now I know how good it feels. I don't want to go back. Like, yes, if it's my birthday, I'll have a Domino's. I know that's a one-off. It's not consistent. You can have pizza now as long as you just make sure that the ingredients are really good that's in it. Trust me, you will feel so much better. Weight loss aside, you just want to keep going because you feel so good. But yeah, don't know why I ranted on about this. This morning I made the like banana oats or whatever it was, but I have oats every Saturday. It's like my favorite thing. I always make carrot cake oats. I'll take you through my meals for the rest of the day whilst I'm on the plan. So oddly cut off there, but let's go and make my lunch. It is so cold, so this is me. I always try and write down, oh, get in focus, what I'm having for the week. So for example, chocolate overnight oats, honey mustard sheet pans, so that was like sausages and sprouts. Avo and eggs, lettuce cups. Next day I'll have a smoothie. Then I'll have just leftovers from that. So I've like meal prepped, I've had extra. This is just sort of what we're doing on the plan. Normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I would just do everything on Sunday, prep everything on Sunday and then have it throughout the week. So like mix it up. For example, I have like meal prep sweet potato there. I made like a spinach hummus. And this is just my guac. This is kind of gross. Extra little bits and then I've got eggs. I also just received these from Biomel, so those are basically what I'm now taking in the mornings. So you've got different flavours, like natural coconut, Belgian dark chalk, pure vanilla, and that one is almond, salted caramel, all plant-based, all made with dairy-free cultured milk. So it's basically just for, as it says, digestive and immune health. I take this in the mornings now, so I won't have one this evening. I'd say my favorite at the moment is probably almond salted caramel. Literally so tasty. They taste like baby milkshakes. Absolutely love that Biomel sent me these guys. But yeah, I love them. So yeah, Biomel. On the list today, we've got, what does it say? Veggies and eggs. I have some veggies meal prepped, but I think I'm gonna mix it up and do some guac, maybe add some spinach. Two boiled eggs left, so I'll have those. I had my carbs this morning, but I think I'm just gonna have some more carbs. I think I'll have some corn cakes. Corn cakes are square, so they don't fit in the jar. So I'll have some of these with my boiled eggs. And now I'm just cutting up some feta to put on top of the corn cakes. Then I'll just peel my eggs, pop them on top, Add a bit of Himalayan salt, some pepper, and then plate them up and get my guac. Okay, now I'm gonna make my dinner. I went to Sano's to go and get this spaghetti squash. I don't think they sell them in this country because I Googled it and I've never seen one in my life. So I know I have a courgette, so I'm like, maybe I can just make courgette. I've done that once before and it's so soggy, but that's all I've got. So I'm gonna have to just make it work because the pesto sounds so nice. Spinach, basil, arugula, 
let's rock it. We're just gonna sub the spaghetti squash for courgette. Yesterday I made the spinach hummus, so I can use that as my protein. I think we have a plan. I feel like I should film what my camera is stood on. Love it. Oh no, I need to get a lemon from underneath. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So here I'm using a grater to essentially spiralize my courgette. I also just chopped up the rest of the courgette and threw that in there as well. Okay, Cab is having these Beyond Meat burgers, which I'm just gonna pop in the oven whilst I make my food. Here I'm making my pesto, which is quite in depth, so I'll just pop the recipe down below. Then I added in some extra spinach because why not? is tired. This is my look. Just gonna chill and eat some chalk. I've got my favorite choco. It's the Hugh Kitchen hazelnut butter. This is literally insane. It's just like Nutella, but good for you. But yeah, go to. And then I've got, oh, it's quite dark. I'm gonna have a great time. This is my Saturday. So yeah, signing out, me and my choco.